the coolest reviews, the funnest shit, nailing the fuck out of it every damn day of the week. It's Grim's Toy Show Action Inside a Figure Review. I am your host, Ebenezer Middle Store. And today we're gonna do a Mattel Mankind Mail-Away Review. It's about time this motherfucker showed up. He was supposed to be the Mail-Away Premium Exclusive to Toys R Us. Summer 2013. But the motherfucker doesn't show up until late summer 2014. Failed it thanks to... What a waste! Grim just grabbed this figure from WrestlingFigures.com. And because this figure is 45 years old, it does not have the new logo, ho. But it does include two turds. What the fuck? Why are they putting pieces of shit in with my figure? Failed it. Bang, bang, bitch. This is the bullshit on the back of the box. Here's a little story about mankind if you would like to read. Pause it right here. Have a nice day with my fingers in your face. <laughs> Look at the elite articulation on this Mankind figure as he drops a deuce in the middle of this review. <laughs> Holy gefilte tits! This isn't shit, this is hair! Apparently, they included pubes. I guess we have to tape them on ourselves. <laughs> yeah, there we go! Now he's got a ball bush he can be proud of. Nailed it! Of course you realize I'm just fucking around. These little pieces are pieces of hair that plug into the top of his head here. They have tiny little grooves, and they plug in right there. But let's see if they stay in, the suckers. Eh, eh, eh. We put one of you in the front, and the other up the butt. I'm just kidding. We put it right here, on the side of his head. There. Now they're in. And I didn't have to staple them or nothing. <laughs> they're not falling out. They're stuck in there like solid steel. They ain't going nowhere. Let's see. Ah! Oh! Even a bump! Nope. They stayed there. Nailed it. This is his face. Hmm, not sure if Mick Foley wearing a leather face mask, or a 40-year-old woman who's tanned every day of her life. Your thoughts. Before Mrs. Foley's baby boy became famous, he wrestled as Mankind, and he was homeless. And he wore this burlap sack as ring attire. The mask has stitching on the back of the skull, and I'll never understand what the fuck type of symbol that was supposed to be. It was almost like an anti-Undertaker logo. Cause that was his first feud with The Undertaker. He is a smart motherfucker to wear these brown, elite, articulated pants. Because, you know, if he was to shit his pants in the ring, short style, nobody would notice. Nailed it. Haha, <laughs> Bubba Sticky. Foley, you dumb fucker. Robin Hood is going to be pissed off when he finds out you stole his boots. What a waste. And look at this bullshit. Robin's boots even buckle on the back. I always thought that it was cool that this fucker wore a finger condom. I have to applaud mankind for practicing safe finger fucking. He used to finger fuck his opponents right in the face, forcing them to perform oral sex on his fingery appendages. But I'll never understand why he never applied the mandible claw to a female's fuckhole. Failed it! Thank you for watching our show and welcome to Team Nailed It! Don't forget to check out our website, GrimstoyShow.com. Buy all your wrestling figures at WrestlingFigures.com. Use discount code Grim at checkout to save 10%. There's a link in the description. And please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Boa, boa, nailed it. 